Hello my amazing people, welcome back to the channel. Now Elementor just released a groundbreaking new update which is Elementor 3.0 and I am really excited about this. So in this video I'm going to give you a short heads up on what you're going to expect in this new update and then later on I'm going to release a complete tutorial on the couple of changes that have taken place in the Elementor 3.0. I'm already logged into one of my WordPress websites and now here under plugins you realize that I have the Elementor free and the Elementor pro and now I have the option to actually update to 3.0 in the Elementor free version and also in the Elementor pro version. Please make sure that you back up your website before you actually do the update because your website may experience breaking changes. Once you are done updating your plugins just like I have done over right here to 3.1 that is the free version and 3.0 in the pro version then we can get started. So now I've opened up two of my websites one before 3.0 and one after 3.0. Now when we head over here to the hamburger icon so this is how our navigation looked like before. Now when you head over here in the 3.0 update this is how our you know menu looks like. Some things have changed just like you see over right here. For example, we have the new site settings, we have the theme builder and then the user preferences and down here we have the navigation menu. Under the site settings, we can even do more other settings for our website. For example, like setting the global colors, I'm going to show you in another video exactly how this actually works like whereby you can actually set up your global colors and, and once you change that color over right here it will also change wherever you have it applied at the same time you can even create new colors or add new colors the same over here on the global fonts whatever you set up as your global font over here and wherever it is applied once you change it back here that means it will be reflected under the site identity you have now the option to set up your website name your website description and the site logo without actually going back into the wordpress menu now this is really interesting because it saves you from going back and forth into wordpress and in elementor now if you're a pro user of elementor you're going to love the new option in the theme builder and this newly built theme builder in the 3.0 version of elementor is really amazing for example over right here you can click and see all the parts of your website including the header footer single post templates archive search results and a lot more the next video i'm going to show you how you can use this section but for example if you want to create a header you simply just click over here on the plus icon or you can simply just say all parts and then come over here to the header and then you can add your header and boom now we are taken to our normal window where we can choose from a couple of header templates now for example if i'm interested in this kind of template i can simply insert or i can simply come over here and browse through my existing templates and once you are done creating your header you can simply publish over right here add your conditions and then save and close now once that is done then you can simply again go back over here then come back to theme builder now you realize that under our global parts we have a template for a header now active even when we come over here to the header option you realize that we have now a header template now this is new in 3.0 because before we actually had to first exit to the dashboard and after you exit to the dashboard you had to come over here to elementor and you had to click on the theme builder now you no longer have to exit anymore the elementor dashboard to simply access your theme builder everything can now be accessed right within the elementor page builder you can even make changes to your header from here you can edit the header or even you can come back over here access your theme builder once again then by accessing again your header template you can even come over here and say export delete or rename for example if i say rename i can give this a name first header then i change now this makes more sense i can even delete this header if i don't want it so i can simply just delete that is one of the amazing options of the new elementor version we can do the same for the footer for the single page templates and a lot more when you are done creating every other part of your website you can simply exit your theme builder simply that's it those are some of the new amazing or groundbreaking changes that have come in elementor 3.0 and i'm going to release a new video showing you how you can build websites the new way using elementor 3.0 so thank you so much for watching so stay tuned on the channel as i'm going to release out a new video on how you can get around with elementor 3.0 in your new website building journey have a good time and goodbye